I feel a lot like Terra Ukraine right now, even though her government is much responsible for it. the situation as um, as Russia and Britain, and of course the Biden administration, the Cahooters. But what happens is you sit there. I made a relatively normal video. It's the one before this one to teach. After a calm day among a coalition of disabled people who, um, you know, we get along pretty well with. Even when we had strangers, we got along pretty well today. Um, so it was a relatively normal, quiet video. But Yoko Ono and Peter Gabriel and an attorney named Amanda Harcourt working with the county of Pierce County in Allegheny County have for many years hardwired um, my home computer to induce terror. It's an art project of um, the Beatles to trigger, to sabotage recovery. And they induced terrible trauma in me as a child. The before and after Mr. Rogers pictures that I put up show a beautiful, well-kept, shy, soft-spoken, honest, and bombed by a man in a preteen, a preteen, an early pubescent, with his mind ripped out, shattered from homicidal brutality. That's before and after Mr. Rogers, because it's before and after Mr. Rogers' um, um, gardeners got their hands on me. So when Pittsburgh says they know best, they know best how to manage the lies that they tell. And I was thinking about Martha Gellhorn and Amanda Hark, um, Ann Ramp. Amanda, I, of course, Amanda Harcourt is in it for the money. She'll do anything to anyone. Take a moment, look at her, her boss, Pina Gabriel. He claimed to be from Amnesty International, in other words, he tortured somebody and then gave, set up a fake organization to whom to appeal, who would then blame the victim for their own victimization and torture them just to see if anybody ever said anything. Murder their friends, rape their friends, just to see if anybody ever said anything. County of Allegheny and Pierce County say, um, we'll help you get away with this, Peter. And so what does Amnesty International, what's their bumper sticker? What's their program? Comes straight from Penis Gabriel's mouth. He says, you say I must be crazy because I don't care who I hurt, who I hit. But I know it's me, it's he. I, I'm not full of it. I don't care who I hurt. I don't care who I do wrong. This is your mess. I'm stuck in when I take out my bottle full of power gasoline. You can tell by the applause of Brian Mello and Ed Gaines, where Penis Gabriel has brought people under the table, has brought people under the table. This is the mind of these evil people, the true mind of Amnesty International. I don't care who I hurt, I don't care who I do wrong. That's the true actual aspect. Peter Gabriel that's behind the Amnesty International. That's the reality. Okay. And they took a timid, brutalized child and drove me into such duress I was homeless for two years. Raped and murdered my fr friends and people I loved and put me into Parkinson's. Okay. The, the, these madmen will not stop. They're full of ravenous, carpet-chewing evil. They, they can't stop themselves. And when they need to lighten the air, they go out and make some practical jokes. And people go, oh, it's just Peter Gabriel being Peter Gabriel. Psychopaths. Now, Martha Gellhorn and Anne Rand tuned in to what it's like to be a victim of somebody like that. Both of them did. And I'll explain to you how Martha Gellhorn expressed it. And I'll explain to you how Anne Rand expressed it. Martha Gellhorn had been to Dark Hell. And after seeing the victims being freed and looking at the rel remnants of what had been done there, 
She said it did no man ever any good whatsoever to cry out from this place. Never has anybody captured the reality of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania better, ever. Ann Rand created a character named Steve Mallory. Steve Mallory said, can you imagine what it would be like to be locked in a room or a cage with a rabid animal or a beast of prey with its mind eaten out by some deadly disease and you'd be driven to the depths of your courage and your comprehension to say the most profound things you ever said and it would look at you with a purpose and a cunning and a mania all its own not responding to or comprehending a single word that you have said that is me addressing pittsburgh pennsylvania there's no chance of ever of getting justice or even comprehension even elementary dignity sanity anything but cruelty sadism and evil from the city of Pittsburgh or Penis Gabriel, ever. It's out of the question. It is psychologically impossible, okay? Now you have to try to grasp that to understand how it is that the buttons they push on the computer control board to taunt me. Go from the sabotaging recovery by a reminder, we can and will do evil to you anytime we want to. That's the mind of Robert Fripp, Peterson, Bill King Crimson, Tony Levin, Penis Gabriel at work. Which means that when they go to sleep, when they back off and do something, everything is fine. They do something else. Everything is fine. I recover. I go, I go about my business. I get my clothes clean. I get my um, checkbook balanced. I get my, my, um, my laundry done. My, my dinner cooked and so forth. And then the psychopaths strike and they organize a network presentation in, in Twitter or something with numerology and things like that. And it's all clocked to their, to the, to the psychopathic mania of a presentation of a, of a, 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 a sounding board of the cerebral, uh, self-presentation. Um, so, you know, they, 80, for example, can and only ever, forever and only mean the day that John Lennon was killed, according to them. I don't believe it even happened. I've seen far too much BS from these people to believe they really went the way they claim it did. They're working solidly, putting up a wall of sound for the people who killed him and tortured me. And there's no chance that they would be doing that if he, they really killed him. So he must have been behind torturing me and pulled a Houdini. And that's what the evidence shows. And that takes a lot of courage and a lot of research and a lot of hard work to pull together and show the construction that they've built. A pure, solid deception. Okay. So 80 can only mean that. There's nothing else it could possibly ever mean. So when they put that up, they mean we're accusing you. That's how they, that's how they operate. That's the only thing it could possibly mean ever to their minds. I know that from repetition. They use it over and over again for that purpose and have for decades. 80 can mean nothing else except we accuse you of being to blame for the murder of John Lennon. We say never voice, never advise me of the charges, never justify, never rationalize, and never explain why they are the ones who authored the script, why they are the ones who are working with the people who they claim did it. They never answer any questions about any of that. And they know that it will jab me like a knife in the back. Ah which is bread and secret weapon, knife in the back. Anytime they show it, because they've used it to rape my deaf advocate, they've used it to 
poisoned me with Parkinson's disease. They used it to um, murder Searcy Kennedy and two other Kennedys. So anytime you see the 80, it's like a KKK. It's like a burning cross. If you're me. And that's why. So when Navos comes down on their hand gliders, we're in 80 pods. We have professionals who went to school and graduated. We're Phi Theta Kappa 2. Nee, 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 nee. And we're here to tell you that A doesn't mean anything of the kind, that he's a paranoid schizophrenic. Nee, 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 nee. You'll have a fact check that you can play run back by that shows their rationalization processes. That's how they think. And they have all sorts of little switchboard nuances that come from the creepy, crawly, weird music. The macabre. It comes from King Crimson, you know. Blah, blah, blah. The out bellowing Balrog of sentiment, crawly stuff that they play all the time. And they impinge it. That's the word they use. They impinge it on the persona. That's how they talk about it. We impinge on the persona. This, you know, so, so don't think I don't notice when Ed Gaines has contacted Ron Mello and they put up a Don Namek duo in my Twitter, in my Twitter. It scares the living shit out of me. Of course it scares the living shit out of me. I'm dealing with the criminally insane. How could it not scare the living shit out of me? They're murderers. They're psychopaths. Penis Gabriel is a rabid animal. 